Hi, my name is Steve Hammond. I'm with Barbon Analyzer Technology. Today we're going to talk a little bit about our 547 Hot Tap Retractable pH Sensor. We're going to take and assemble and disassemble the product and show you how it goes together. I have some basic tools, a pair of pliers, an adjustable wrench, and some silicone lubricant. I also have the metallic sheath that the sensor fits into, the back piece assembly, the pH sensor, and in this case I've cut the cable off on the sensor to make things go a little quicker, and a compression fitting. So let's put one together. First off, I'll take my metallic sheath, and put the compression fitting on, you put it on opposite from the flared tip. Once the compression fitting is on, you can take your back piece and a little silicone lubricant on the O-rings help things slide together a little bit easier. Once I have that lubricated up, the back piece goes into the sheath like so. I would take my pH sensor with the cap off thread the cable through the sheath, insert the sensor, and you can use a little silicone lubricant here as well if that helps things go to bed together easier. As I push the sensor in, it'll push out the back piece a bit, and now I can hand tighten it. No tools are needed. Once I can't turn it anymore, my sensor is assembled. The tip on the sensor will hit against the back of the metallic sheath and that will withstand your process pressure. For disassembly, if your process gets up into the metallic sheath, or the housing here, you might want to take an adjustable wrench. You can put it on the tip here, and either loosen by hand or gently take a pair of pliers to break it loose. Once I have things loosened up, disassembly goes the exact opposite way. Back piece. Now my sensor's out for cleaning, calibration, or eventual replacement. If you want to learn more about these products, you can go to our website, bat4ph.com. Thank you.